Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Manaswini and today I'm going to be talking about six new sunscreens that I've tried. These are sunscreens that I've been seeing on the internet recently. Few of them are also new launches. I got them all for under 500 rupees because of certain sales and discounts going on on different websites. If you want to know how they worked for me, keep on watching. The first sunscreen that I'm going to talk about today is this one by Plum. Green tea and peptide CM sunscreen. It has SPF 50, PA++++. Expected it to be like the Dot & Key watermelon sunscreen. It was extremely, extremely oily and it did not get absorbed into the skin. Even after 30 minutes of keeping it on my face, it just did not get in. It had this thick layer of oil on my face, extremely sticky, extremely greasy and absolutely disappointing. It retails for rupees 5.99 for 50 ml of product but I got it for 490 rupees from Blinkit. The next sunscreen that I tried is this one by Fox Beautiful, Tail. beautiful packaging. And this is the first product that I've tried from Foxtail. I have been seeing this brand everywhere and I think this sunscreen is a new launch. There is a very major problem with the packaging of this product. Even though it's very cute and nice, the text that's printed on it, it gets smudged yes and like this you see it it literally smudges and i have no clue i mean did what i don't know it's a manufacturing error or all of these are like this i have no clue and it just leaves this black you know ink on my hand apart from that the product the product is stunning if there is one sunscreen that i've really liked after the dr shed sunscreen it's this one the texture is really light, it moisturizes, hydrates the skin really well and it does not make it look greasy or it oily. It does say that it's a mattifying sunscreen but it leaves a nice glow on your skin. It's SPF 70 which is great, PA++++. The only drawback of this sunscreen is the packaging and also that it has fragrance and the fragrance is not very you know you can't ignore it it is pretty strong not very strong but it is there and you will have to get used to it i have sensitive skin and i'm not sure if i'll be able to use it for a very long time and i really hope that they come up with a non-fragrant version of this sunscreen it's stunning formulation also contains niacinamide and vitamin e it says that it's for normal to oily skin but it worked beautifully for my dry sensitive skin retails for rupees 595 for 50 ml of product but if you check the website there is always some discount going on the next sunscreen is this one by moody i've been seeing this brand a lot on the internet these days and i really wanted to get this it is the moody 7d hydro burst hybrid water sunscreen it's SPF 50 PA++++. It contains hyaluronic acid and coconut water. It retails for rupees 500, but again, you can get it on a discount on Blinkit. I swear this video is not sponsored by Blinkit, but I'm just this really impatient person and want my skincare as soon as possible. So I order stuff from Blinkit a lot. Now this product has such a, I mean, just look at the packaging. It's so cute, it's stunning. The product, the texture of it is so, so good. But the problem, it's also a fluid, you know, it's, it's a fluid sunscreen. The problem is the extremely, extremely strong fragrance. So it's like a perfume. Even if you take a little bit of it, if you put, if you put this much of this sunscreen on your wrist in the morning, I'm not even kidding. This fragrance is gonna last more than 24 hours. It's so, so strong. As a sunscreen, a big, big no because of the fragrance. My sensitive skin just cannot. My skin really broke out after using it and I'm sure it's because of the fragrance, but the texture, but the texture is to die for. I mean, it's so, it just blends into my skin. It takes like a minute to get absorbed and blend. It's so stunning. If you're someone who does not have sensitive skin, then definitely go for this. It's beautiful. I'm also very sensitive to fragrances. So I know I just can't stand this khushboo. It's just too much for me. Now the good news is that this brand has actually launched a fragrance-free version of this sunscreen. 
and even better it is currently for rupees 299 on their website they have a sale going on so if you want to get this if you have oily skin normal skin all any skin type just go grab it it's such a stunning consistency such a stunning formulation you have to get your hands on this one just make sure you get the one without fragrance because the fragrance is going to blow your mind i'm not even kidding the next sunscreen that i tried is the fix derma shadow spf 50 plus cream so i had tried its spf 30 version which was a gel formulation this one on the other hand is a cream based sunscreen and i have no clue why did i not try it before you need just a little bit of it to cover your face it takes a while to blend in but once it's perfectly blended into your skin there is no white cast it does not feel sticky or oily it just hydrates your skin beautifully i'm sure you will not need a moisturizer and if you're someone who does not like to layer a lot then this one is really a must have it's a water resistant formula and retails for rupees 325 for 40 grams of product it comes in a bigger tube as well but if you're just trying it out you know to know if it works for you or not then you can get this smaller one just like i did the next sunscreen in my list is the one that i've been using every single day this week and i have i know it's not a new launch but i'm really really sad that i did not know that this existed it's such a stunning sunscreen it's the plum rice water and niacinamide hybrid sunscreen it's spf 50 pa++ it's very similar to the dr shet's vitamin c and ceramide sunscreen i really love that one and i really like this one this is in fact a little lighter it's a nice glow to your skin oily skin will not like it so much but for normal dry and combination skin i think it's a great sunscreen it retails for rupees 399 for 50 ml of product and last but not the least it's the minimalist invisible sunscreen it has spf 40 now this sunscreen contains squalene it's a broad spectrum pa++ sunscreen and the texture the formulation is silicony it's very similar to the sun scoop invisible sunscreen it blends into the skin beautifully it is definitely drier the texture is slightly different from the sun scoop one but it works better than that it really absorbs into your skin for oily skin types i think it would be a really really beautiful product minimalist spf 50 did not really work for me but this one even though my skin is dry really felt comfortable on my skin and face no white cast because as the name says it's invisible it retails for rupees 499 for 50 grams of product so that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching it if you did then don't forget to like it and if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button it would mean a lot to me also if you want me to try any more skin care products or body care products or makeup products i am absolutely up for it let me know in the comments thank you for watching i'll see you next week Bye